Good day, everybody. How you going today? It is so good to see you. <laughs> What's good, guys? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons, my top 10 reasons why you should maybe consider a Nikon for your next camera purchase. You ready? Let's get started. We're going to count it down. Top 10. All right. Number 10. Quick advancement from DSLR to mirrorless in a short period of time. What does this mean? Nikon cares. Nikon is advancing with new technology. They're doing this in a short period of time. They came out with the Z mount, a brand new mount in 2018 and it's been short five years. Look at all the lenses they've introduced us to. They came out with the cameras that they're rocking and rolling with. They care, they're doing great things in a short period of time. That's number 10. Number nine, the F mount AFS to Z Alliance. Don't throw these lenses away. If you got AFS, don't sell them because if you migrate over to mirrorless, you got a sweet little adapter called the FTZ adapter. You can mount your AFS lenses full autofocus on a brand new mirrorless body and they work flawlessly. Here's an example of a 105 millimeter 1.4 E lens. When I mount this baby onto a Z mount camera, it works flawlessly with the FTZ adapter. Sold separately, it rocks and it rolls, guys. That's number nine. Nikon cameras and lenses have always looked badass to me. You know, yeah, Canon is cool with their white lenses and white telephotos. They look good, they look space age, some of their bodies. But for me, Nikon has looked the coolest out of the bunch. I mean, I just love the way the Nikons look. And I mean, aesthetically, Nikon is doing a great job. I know in terms of photography, that really doesn't matter. But hey, I kind of like the way these cameras and lenses look. I love it, guys. I love it. That's number eight. Number seven, video without work. Straight out of the box on a certain picture profile that is embedded in these new Z mirrorless cameras, the video out of the box looks beautiful without any grading. I've used Sony, I've used Canon, and I think the Nikon files, video files, especially on neutral picture profile, I don't know what it is about that picture profile, but I think it looks the best out of the box. I hardly need to grade anything and it's ready to go. It's ready for YouTube and it's rocking and rolling. Right now, I'm using the NL picture profile straight out of the box for this video. How does it look? Leave me a comment down below. Number six, button layout from old to new. We got a D2H right here. We got a Z9 right here. We're talking decades. And when you hold one of these cameras, the button layouts are, well, they feel kind of alike. The menu system is kind of similar. The buttons, the layout, the where the buttons are, the trigger button, the menu button, it's very similar. It's, it's like driving a car. You get into a car, you put it in drive, you already know what to do. Nikon pays attention to that and doesn't put buttons where they don't need to be. They do it in the mind of a Nikon shooter. Doesn't take much to get used to the new coming from the old. Thank you, Nikon. That rocks. Number five, the community, the Nikon shooters, photographers, the online community is amazing. You know, you got guys like Matt Irwin, Grays of Westminster, Chuck Egan, you know, Thomas Eaton, myself, YouTube community. We're here to help you Nikon shooters bring out reviews, we talk about the brand, you know, camera, lenses, photography tips. I love this community across the globe. There's many of us, and if this is your first time here in this community, we're a Nikon-centric channel, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel because the Nikon community 
is awesome. So if you ever need some help, if you ever need a tutorial on your new Nikon camera, we're not hard to find, guys. On YouTube, this is Vahography, and we got a whole host of other amazing YouTube Nikon-centric channels on the internet. So that's number five. That rocks, and that rolls. Yeah. Number four, photography files out of the box. They look amazing. When you're doing still photography, whether you're using DSLR, where you're using a mirrorless camera, in my opinion, the files straight from the camera to your computer look the best. It works for me. The sharpness, the colors, the IQ, everything about the Nikon, low light performance, the raw files, they just look great out of the box with very little editing. I've used a lot of other camera manufacturers like Fuji, Sony, Canon, all great, all different. But for me, colors out of the box, the, the Nikon colors is something special for this class of camera. Nikon and Fuji, they, they're known for their colors, especially Fujifilm. You know, a lot of people use the Fujifilm X series of cameras for their colors out of the box. And let me say, Nikon, they just sing to me, they glow. You know, when I'm editing these colors, these files out of the camera, the raw files look great. The Nikon just kicks major ass for me and for a lot of photographers around the world, especially with the new technology, the new Z9. It's just simply amazing. That's number four. You ready for the top three? You ready for my top three reasons why you should look at Nikon for your next camera purchase? Let's go. Number three, Nikon produces cameras and lenses that work and they last a very long time with hardly any issues. In my hand, I got a D2H from well, a couple of decades ago. I have cameras that I've used with over almost half a million clicks and I've never serviced them, I've never cleaned them. No issues, guys. Even the battery packs that come with these cameras, they work amazing, the batteries. So when Nikon produces something, they last, they just work. From the D2H right here in my hand, <laughs> the D3X, the D4, woohoo, woohoo, man. <laughs> the D800, the amazing Nikon Z6, my Nikon Z9. Wow, love it. Number two, ergonomics. The way cameras feel in my hand. I'm in love with this camera. This is a 15 year old camera. It still feels solid. I've always loved Nikon ergonomics my favorite and i've always gave this advice to photographers as looking for a system to buy into go to the camera shop hold each camera hold the canon and hold a nikon hold the fuji hold the sony hold the leica whatever you're gonna buy whatever you're thinking of buying whatever feels the best in your hand start from there because if you're going to use a camera that really doesn't feel good in your hand i might second think that decision Nikon ergonomics for me have always been number one. You guys ready for number one in this countdown? <laughs> Before I tell you what number one is, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If this is your first time here on this channel, Vahography, I welcome you to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. I'd love to have you as a new subscriber. Leave a comment down below. Let's get to know each other. I'm happy you're here. Let's grow this channel. Let's grow this photography channel together. This is a Nikon centric channel. However, if you're a Canon or Sony or Fuji shooter, it doesn't matter. It's photography. I'm going to talk about other cameras as well. Review other cameras and lenses as well. So I welcome you guys to come in, subscribe to this channel and join this community called Vahography. All right, guys. So number one, you guys ready for number one? I'll give you a hint. This is a Z9 with this amazing lens. Number one, lens selection and Nikon lenses. 
Nikon lenses for me have been just amazing. Their selection of lenses throughout the years, quality of glass, the way Nikon lenses render the image, the bokeh, the sharpness, corner to corner, the quality, the character, you name it. Every little characteristic, build quality, the way they feel in the hand, the way the autofocus, the manual focus, the focus ring, the aperture ring, you name it, the glass, the coatings. We can go on and on and on, but Nikon makes the world's finest lenses. They're right up there with Zeiss and Leica, and I love Nikon glass. My favorite lens, I'm holding the Noct 58mm 0.95 Z mount lens. This is an amazing piece of glass. This right here is by far, I think, the best Nikon lens ever produced, ever in their how many year history. This glass right here, the sharpness and the rendering of this lens, yes, it is expensive, but it's worth every single penny. This is a modern lens, modern era lens, but it's very expensive, 58 millimeter. Nikon lenses, my other favorite lens is the 200 F2, the 105 1.4E, the 28 1.4E. I mean, they make some really gems. They make some gems from the past. Now, if you haven't really shot with the Nikon before, I got to give you this little tip and advice. Sure, the camera bodies are nice, they're sexy, they're cool, they're fast, the colors are beautiful, but if you don't have amazing glass to go with the camera body, then you're really missing out. You know, lenses are very important in your decision to buy into a system, right? I've always said this, you know, glass before bodies all the way so you keep these these are great investments you keep them for years and years and years and uh, nikon glass is my number one reason why you and other photographers should really look into the nikon system if you're on the fence if you're still deciding on which camera to buy which brand of camera leave me a comment down below i'd love to answer any questions you might have as a new buyer because I've used Nikon for many, many years and I have a lot of experience when it comes to shooting with Nikon gear. Once again, I wanna thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagan, your rock and roll photographer. It's time to go out and shoot rock and roll.